The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, I'm sharing all the sound destroying, bit reducing sauce that comes with Ableton Live 10. The tools that we're going to be focusing on are erosion, redux, and vinyl distortion. The first element that I think competes with my voice a little bit is this synthesized voice here. Back for the hits game. With these plugins, I always like to start by just grabbing this dot and moving it around. This always gives you a really cool way to move multiple parameters at once. So amount seems to be the wet dry knob and frequency seems to be where the resonance is. Let's try wide, wide noise. That's cool for a sweeping effect. And this is the less, less stereo version. I'm gonna go with the sine wave one. I think I wanna automate this parameter and have it go up from the very beginning of the song all the way up until the drums come in. Let's see what this sounds like. Cool, now it sounds like it's winding up a little bit. And maybe we'll boost up the amount once it starts coming in with that nice high note like that. Like right here. Let me pull the amount down here in the beginning so it's not quite so crushy. And then. Thinking back for the hey. hits game. It was all just. And let's also drag this before our filter so we don't have all that crackliness coming in after our low pass filter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. Got a one way to California. Looking back came a long, long way up You were there by my side as I came up Take it back to the hey. old read You were there waiting for me, for me Now that I have some automation lanes for this part I might also want to use this to do the opposite direction going back down My day one, my day one, my day one, day one My day one, my day one, my day one Are your plucks popping? Have you spent countless hours programming your plucks with no results? Introducing Poppin' Plucks Volume 1, the complete collection of serum presets that will get your plucks so poppin' your song just might pop off. Poppin' Plucks is available now only at Holoops.com. The next thing I want to process in this beat is the guitar. I think it could be softened with a little hint of vinyl distortion. Since this isn't a real guitar, any little tricks you can do to make this feel a bit more natural will help. Instead of using the default setting, I'm going to use my favorite setting right here, dub plate. I can turn up the volume a little yeah, bit yeah. on this. Yeah, yeah. Vinyl Distortion is a very simple plugin that gives you a hard or soft clipping ceiling. Yeah. But I'm not trying to distort my sound extra. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stereo or mono output. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And also a resonance area where the drive is most sensitive. And I think I'm going to drop that right where in the center where I hear the guitar the most. Turn up a little bit of crackle. Thinking back for 
Actually, I think the density of the crackling was nice where it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. Got a one way to California. Looking back came a long, long way up. You were there by my side as it came up. Taking during this part, I think I want the volume to get automated down. You were there waiting for me, for me. My day one, my day one, my day. So that when we don't hear the guitars, we also don't hear the crackle. The third plugin, Redux, is very similar to Erosion, but instead of a moving bit sweeping filter effect, this is more for just a low bit depth recording. So let's try dropping this on the lead vocal just so you understand what it does. Let's put it before our echoes. Thinking back for the Now this is a bit extreme of an effect to put on a vocal, but one of my absolute favorite places to put Redux on a vocal is here before delay. That way the delays have this Redux feeling to them, but the dry vocal is still dry. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. Got a one way to California. Looking and that takes your delays and kind of puts them inside of a walkie-talkie, which is a really useful way to not have them distract the listener from the dry lyrics. And I think I'm going to put another Redux here on the slap delay too, so our slaps aren't clean either. You were there by my side as it came up. Take it back to the old read. You were there waiting for me, for me. That way we still got the Redux vibe in there without having to ruin the cleanliness of our vocal record. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. Got a one way to California. Looking back came a long, long way up. You were there by my side as it came up. Take it back to the old read. You were there waiting for me, for me. My day one. Well, there you have it. That is my sauce guide to using erosion, redux, and vinyl distortion in every mix. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time with another Ableton Stock Plugins tutorial. Peace out.